Okay, so you know, like you said, UAB is one of the university universities chosen for this. Is there like do you do, do you all have any specific recruitment and retention goals specifically for UAB? How many people want to so, recruit? So so we started with um with having like a uh, um over um over our funding to get a hundred thousand as a network of Southern Network. We're readjusting this a little bit, but we are still shooting for getting as many as we can. So far, we uh, enrolled about 34,000 uh, people. Um, and you know that with the pandemic, we had to slow down and not to do much. Uh, but nationwide, they have close to 450,000 people so far. So we are contributing uh, really uh, a, a big portion of that uh, that goal for the national level. So we're moving ahead and we need to get as many as we can. Okay, now going back to, like you said, the challenges, because like, for example, it's one thing to get somebody to sign up for the program, but another thing is to keep them in the program. And one thing about the All of Us Research Program from me participating in it, or me joining and participating in it currently, is that this is a 10 year project. Yes. And um and and I I always say that sometimes it's a challenge to enroll participants, but it's more challenge to keep them engaged. Um, but it is very important because we want to know what's happening to people over time. Um, and some people we link uh, and they give us consent to do that. We link uh, their uh, information that we get with their electronic health records. So when they come and visit the, their doctors, we can see what happened to them. You know, if they got sick, if they got treated, how they responded to certain drugs, you know, like we need to follow that. So it's important to stick with it um, as much as you can. And we hope that the, the people would stick with the program and stay with it. Um, uh, the long time as till the study ends. And there are a, a lot, you know, I've been in other programs before that we followed people for even more than 10 years. And it really give us good information um, that we need, like we identified how to screen for lung cancer or colon cancer. So these are very important that if you enroll in a study to stay in it um, uh, until the end. Yeah, one thing I noticed too, I don't tell anybody since I've joined the program, I got a free Fitbit. From yes. <laughs> so yes, if you join the program, you can get a, a, a free Fitbit. And the good thing is this Fitbit can we can you can measure all your vitals and also your activities and uh, can link to um, some medical information. Um, as you know, too, uh, for people that they get DNA, they get uh, results, their their uh, you know ancestry, their genetic results. So there are a lot of benefit also for people that they participate, like it's immediate benefit. Yeah, and one thing I also like about the program is give you, you know, based on, like you said, they're following you around. They also, I, I feel like it gives you like more of a deeper dive and it goes deeper than just, you know, going like your annual, annual visit, just getting just, I wouldn't call it regular lab work, but they're able to kind of peel the, the orange peels, I guess you can call it. You're right. You're right about that. You know, like they, um, you know, we, we sometimes we say that if you have any, uh, um, you know, like genetic trade or changes, people say, why would I want to know? Because there is nothing they can do about, but um the discovery and science have really improved that there is a lot of these uh, genes variants that we can do something about it. So as those are come in, people will be counseled if there's something that is found that there are something that they could do about it. Um, so that's important, you know. Um, so it's, it's not that um, there's no hope and I don't wanna know. Um, so yes, the, the the program can give you back and give genetic counseling if there is needed to. Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today.
today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today. Your source for everything Birmingham.